Well, I've got quite a lot of stuff today. That those two, some of the stuff you're about to see. Um, so this video is all about DCU fives. So I actually got four today. Let's start with all this. As you can see, I've kind of attacked it. Uh, this had a working motor in it. Well, it looks like it's working and fairly clean. So we'll test it later. This is the Cyclone of a DCO5 Absolute Plus. Is it the Cyclone? Something on it is off a DCO5 Absolute Plus, but it's actually a yellow one. It's a mashup. Um, no cable on it. The cable wheel was not working and there's no cable on it. And uh, yeah, I thought, ah, look, there yeah, that's those are the bits that are off an Absolute Plus. That was off a yellow DCO5. But anyway, a couple of handles in there too. Yeah, we've stripped that for parts. Forget about it, because I was really blabby there. I got this wand as well. Handy. Two absolute plus hoses. And this DCO5, which does not work. And this DCO5, which does. And also that, which we'll go and have a look at in a wee while. Um, let's have a look at this one. Uh, now, I have this wand. I can't remember which one had it. This head I already had. Um, this one has the original plug. No fuse cover. I imagine the fuse has been checked. 2001. It's missing a wee cap there. Filter's pretty clean. Bougie. Aye. Uh, everything else is intact. This one's really tidy actually. It's not in a state at all. Who knows what's wrong with it. It probably won't get fixed. It'll probably get broken for parts because people are paying over the tops for parts for these. There was tape here, but I actually think it's because this ring popped out and they just take the handle on because there's nothing wrong with the handle and there doesn't seem to be anything wrong with the hose. Handle's intact. People again are going mad for the handles. So yeah, that's an 05 that doesn't work. Kev's tool on it. This one does work and is in more of a mess than that one. Um, obviously this is a YDK motor one. That's a bit messy. The felt is also pretty clean. Um, what an air. This had a pen in it, by the way. I took the hose off and, oh, I don't know where the pen is now, but a pen fell out of it. Always funny. Let's have a look in here. It's gotten quite hot. I only used it for two minutes there. Yeah. Yeah. Who knows what the motor's like, but it runs at least. So this one I might do up and put on eBay. My last DCO5 went for £82, which is why I kind of <laughs> seek these out today. Um, the hose and everything's also intact. Let's chuck it on the wand. <coughs> like that. And we can even give it a go because I think there's suction. Wow, there is suction. This is really wobbly. <laughs> Look at that, it's really wobbly. Yep, that is in working order. Now, I should mention that clear bin is off this DCO5 we're about to look at. I also got this today, a Motorhead DCO5. The problem with this was there was something wrong with the, the actual clear bin wasn't sealing properly. Um, and it was leaking loads of suction. Now this filter I put in, this is the filter out of it. Which I didn't know was lilac to match it, that is too cool. This is the post filter out of it, Ugh. again, used, but I've got a clean filter in there now. It's all in fairly okay condition. Um, obviously we've got the motor heads, a bit dark up here, because actually there's um, no light. I can't put a wee lamp on actually, I think it's not too bad. Here's the motor head in pretty tidy condition, that was me earlier, because it wasn't like that when I got it. Yeah, that's in pretty good condition actually. Let's see if I can bring it down here and show you it working. I will do a proper video on this motorhead, but I thought why don't we scoot over it now and make my first video for ages and ages. Uh, let's see, how are we going to do this? Um, I'm going to have to look at, put this away, at least move it. Overrun my stuff here, and yet I went and got more, eh? What am I like? Here we are. There's a little bit of carpet. Plug this in. Can't remember if I've said or not, but this one works. Oh yeah, I told you because it had the leaky bin issue. 
I know what was wrong with the bin, it just wasn't sealing up properly. Um, the crevice tool, it has the other two tools, but this, this I had. If you've watched the video for that, you'll know the story about this crevice tool. Now, it's the right colour, but it doesn't fit because the bits there have been taken off. Um, now, when I first tried this, Pneumatic Wheel 29 always raved about his, and I was using it and going, this is a bit meh. Until I checked the suction and realised there was practically none, and uh, with suction it's pretty good. So... Yep, it's pretty good, I'm not going to lie to you. And it's got the Zorb mode. Where the brush turns at about three turns a minute. Is that dust? Not anymore, it's not. Not quite as smooth as that. Wow! Now that's an ancient piece of carpet, so I can bring that up, it'll bring anything up. So yeah, that's just a very quick look at this one and all these other ones. Uh, when I get around to cleaning them up, you might be able to see them again or breaking them up, who knows. Yeah, thought it'd be good to make a video, I've not made one in ages. So yeah, thanks for watching.